hello guys welcome back to the channel i found my camera after all of these months of promising that i was going to be daily vlogging again or weekly vlogging again i'm just kidding my camera was literally laying out on my table this entire time but i don't know why i just couldn't pick it up i couldn't bring myself to do weekly vlogs anymore but your girl's back in the mood so welcome back to the weekly vlogs we are about to head out to this design studio i guess you could call it i don't really know how to describe it but it's kind of like a vintage antique home and design studio called olive atelier here in la and they invited me to like kind of look through their collection so i kind of wanted just to i don't really have anything in mind but i feel like if i see anything that i like then i might just like pick it up and put it in storage and then figure out when i want to use it in <laughs> our home in the future but this is the outfit it's just very casual the room is also a mess so please disregard that we're gonna be figuring that out this weekend too lots of cleaning but i'm just wearing these wide leg jeans from h&m this like random sweater from vince and then this like bottega dupe bag from amazon so yeah we gotta go because we are running a little bit late well actually it's not too far so i think we're like right on time I'll take you guys along with us and later on today I don't know how comfortable I feel vlogging all of it but I will see kind of like what I feel comfortable with we go to this like Islamic lesson every Friday night um, anytime we're actually in the city and we're gonna be driving up to Orange County for that so our like teacher he said there's gonna be like a special night tonight so that might be kind of nice to like include in content but um, for now we gotta go and welcome back to the weekly vlogs. to Olive Atelier now. It's literally, if you love organic modern homeware, this is literally like just a candy store for you. It's so, so gorgeous. Like look at all these beautiful pots and all of these are like antique and sourced from places like China, India. So, so cool. Like I love these benches. I feel like this would be just so beautiful in like the entryway of a home or something. So anyways, we're gonna look for a pot for one of my plants and hopefully we score. I wish I had a patio. I love this. It's so fun. Okay, I'm kind of loving this pot over here. I feel like it's the perfect size too for the plant that I need to repot. Either that or this one, which is a little bit bigger. These are from China. I kind of like these, but I also like the ones with the little like handles on them, but it won't be a little bit too small. What do you think of this one? This one or this one? This one has a bigger opening, but right. I feel like it's, well, just it has like a bigger mouth, but it, I don't think it ma oh, I don't know. So the plant's kind of big, they're four stems. Oh, those ones are cool too, these gray ones. These are cool too. So many good things. These massive hot. Can you get me right beside one of these? So far, not really finding any luck, unfortunately. Happy Saturday. Y'all got me in my shitiras today um, because I have spent the entire day pretty much, well, one, I finally uploaded my Portugal vlog. So pat on the back for that. But I've been organizing because there is something in this house that I just have neglected ever since moving in. And... <laughs> I don't know why, but today I was like, I was over it. I was like, okay, today's the day that it's gonna be organized. So, oh, also 
I apologize, I didn't really end up taking you guys to the Hakika, um or the Islamic lesson yesterday. I just didn't really feel comfortable whipping out my camera. I did bring it and I intended, intended to vlog, but I don't know, the vibe there is just like, it's just a little bit more intimate. I, I have a feeling like not all those people want to be on the internet, so. I took like a little clip of this man that is from Sweden. Um, he's like a special guest and he did like a small performance, so I'll, I'll insert that here so you guys can see. Um, but it was a beautiful night, we had some desserts, and then we came home and just basically watched Suits. We've been obsessed with Suits. Um, I watched it when I was in college, um, slash university. Look at me, in America for six years and suddenly I'm saying college instead of university. But I watched it then, um, and then I didn't end up finishing it, and then my husband randomly started watching it. So I started watching it with him, and then I became addicted all over again, so. That's all we did all night. But anyways, let me show you guys what I have been working on. I'm just like so determined on like organizing and cleaning this apartment because we've just been traveling all year and have not have not done what we should be doing. So this is my first project. Um, depending on how I feel by the time I'm done this, I may also organize my drawers because there's just so much crap in there and like it won't even close properly at this point. There's just like too much I need to declutter. But this, let me turn the camera around. I strategically did not show you guys the before. I did take a photo, so I'll insert that, but it is quite scary. Um, but this is the current state of my bathroom. I just like shoved this thing with so much stuff. Like things were like falling out anytime I'd open it. I'd like open it, shove something in, close the door so quickly. Cause I just did not have like an organization strategy with this, but I'm about to go to Target and I just spent like the past two hours taking everything out, throwing a bunch of stuff out and this is all the stuff that I'm going to keep and reorganize and then some of this stuff is like new product that I will either like keep some stuff and then just like donate the rest uh, but yeah, it's, it's quite crazy in here, I understand I'm not proud of it but you know here we are. Um, but yeah, I, I initially ordered something on Instacart because I saw the container store had a bunch. And then I noticed like Amazon has basically the same type of containers for like a fraction of the cost. So I measured everything and I'm gonna go pick some stuff up at Target right now and see what else I can get for organization. But I think it'll just be those two, those four things and then I can come back and organize. So I'm actually excited. I might like label some stuff too, depending on how fancy I decide to get we shall see but I'm gonna go change out of my Somali shitiras right now <laughs> I got this in Dredua it's actually one of my favorites I love the color let me change real quick and then we will get into the car and head to Target so you may be wondering hey Aisha why does your car look so different did you get a new car no I did not um, if you guys follow me on Instagram then I would have told this story already, but my car broke down on me once again. I can't remember if I ever talked about this car saga on YouTube, but I've just been having car issues. It's a brand new car and they messed it up. They, as in the dealership, earlier this year, literally in February, and like they have been giving me the, the same runaround. Um, and finally, I just like filed a case with Genesis, like the actual like owner not owner, but you know what I mean. I filed a case with Genesis and they like escalated the issue and they're finally like actually fixing it and replacing my engine. So I'm driving this car in the meantime. Um, it's, I believe a Hyundai Sonata, which actually is kind of slay. I'm not gonna lie. I've been really enjoying it. It's a little hybrid too. And I've only had to fill gas like once. Well, I never filled it, but you know what I mean. Um, we've only had to fill gas once and we've had it for like, over a month at this point so i'm like kind of happy about that i'm not gonna lie also since like genesis is under the hyundai umbrella it's like their luxury division um the features are actually very similar so i actually have not had too many issues with it thankfully and um yeah i don't know when i'm gonna get my car back um but honestly we've barely been like in 
in LA, so it hasn't really been that big of a deal not having it. I do miss my car though. I miss my little peanut butter interiors, but you know, it is what it is. As long as it's getting fixed now, I am happy. So anyways, on the way to Target right now, um, I'm gonna get those drawers and bins, and then I'm gonna see if I can find anything else. I haven't been to Target in like so long. I actually don't remember the last time I was in a Target, so I'm actually looking forward to it um, and just like browsing and seeing what else they have. I really don't need anything else though, so I'm gonna try and be good, but we will see. I love this. As I was saying, I forgot my camera in the car, unfortunately. I like had it on the little like tripod attached to the window and then I always forget it there, so I'm on my phone right now, but According to the website, it should be right here. Ooh. Okay. I think these are gonna work. Oh, they look so good. I'm happy. So they're a little bit bigger than I, I guess, had intended at first, but I actually don't mind it. I think it's gonna be perfect. I'm thinking like two of these for like the top part and then maybe like one big one or something yeah maybe i'll just get like one big one and then a couple of the like ones that are divided but i think i think this should be perfect and these are really good quality too and only 15 dollars the ones that were at the container store were literally i think $39, like almost $40 each, which is just like crazy that I was even gonna pay that at first. Oh, they're heavy. Oh. They're all broken. One of the open ones, maybe? Okay, actually, this one without the dividers is gonna be really good for all my hair tools and hair brushes. Yeah, in case any of you guys are looking for some storage stuff, there's a bunch at Target. These ones are $6 each, that's so good. This could be cute too. I'm gonna get both. And I feel like I'm gonna get use out of this somewhere, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get both and call it a day and hope that it works out. All right, I secured the goods. One thing that I completely forgot about was the fact that I'm in a city Target and not a regular Target and they don't have like a parking lot that you can take your cart out to so i was like okay i guess i'm gonna have to take two trips or something but then the lady there she was like oh we can actually just carry it out for you so i'm just gonna drive to the loading area this is like one of those garages that have like multiple levels that like if you go on one wrong level like you will never find your car <laughs> so Hoping I'm going the right way. Loading. I am in the loading zone. Pardon? Are you also looking for a delivery for your? Yeah. I've been waiting here. No one's here. Really? Yeah. Like, like from Target? Yeah, from Target. Uh oh. <laughs> I know. How, how long have you been waiting? Uh, five minutes. Oh. Ah. Uh... And I don't know if there's no number to call. Yeah. I mean, I do remember seeing the guy come out. Like, I saw him moving. I don't know. To wait here. Yeah, I think so. Hopefully they come. <laughs> I guess we're all confused on how to get our things. Thank you. Have a nice day. Perfect. I guess they're probably just trying to, like, get us to all do it at the same time or something. But got my things. Wow, I had no idea Target did that 
Why have I been struggling for so many times? I guess anytime I come to this Target, I'm usually only getting a few things, so I've never actually had to like deal with that. But today, I did not think it through, but the Lord had me on his side. All right, let's get out of here and start organizing. This is like my favorite part. Getting all the stuff that like you need to organize and then actually being able to organize. So much fun. Aren't these so, <laughs> you're so ugly. <laughs> Forgot to buy label makers, but I think I should be good with this, these. Just got home to like the most beautiful cotton candy skies I've ever seen. So beautiful. The camera is like literally not even doing it justice. I know everyone says that, but let me see if I can like, there we go, that kind of looks like that. <gasps> it's so pretty. Oh my God, mashallah. No, I was literally just talking and not even recording. <laughs> SMH, anyways, as I was saying, before I realized I literally was not even recording. I'm getting an aura ring. So they sent over like the sizing kit. I've been like obsessed over this ring for like almost a year at this point. So I'm so excited to be getting it finally. And um, I was actually about to buy it on Poshmark and I had guessed that I'd be a size eight and then now getting the sizing kit, I'm actually a size eight. So like, yeah, anyways, um, this is the little sizing kit. I'm so excited to get it because it like, it measures a bunch of things like stress levels. It measures like if you're about to get sick, your temperature every day, if you want to do like natural cycles, um, fertility, tracking and stuff. Um, it counts your steps, um, like your calories burned and stuff, and just like a bunch of other things. So obviously we've been in our little wellness bag lately. And I think this is just kind of like the perfect like extension to that. So once I get it, I'll do like an unboxing and kind of like give you guys an impression on it after I've used it for a little bit, but I'm very excited. Anyways, in other news, I'm just gonna wear it though, just to like see if it like really feels comfortable in case I'm also a size nine because I don't know, I heard like you have to kind of size up. This kind of feels a little too loose though. So I think an eight should be good, honestly. I will get to organizing in a second. I just picked, a picked up a couple things from Target, but one of them is this. I'm actually really excited about this because, um, yeah, Seen got the Oikos like 15 gram protein for me like a couple weeks ago, but then I saw Oikos has a pro and it has 20 grams of protein per cup. And I thought that was like so amazing. It's only 140 calories. So I feel like to get like my protein intake in the morning, this is gonna be like really, really nice with some berries and then I can make like eggs or something on the side to get like 30 grams of protein straight in the morning, which is just perfect. So in case you guys are also trying to get your protein intake, check out Oikos Pro, cause I feel like it's a pretty good deal. Well, I mean, I don't know what the pricing is like, but in terms of protein, it's a really good deal. Also just got some veggies because I need to eat more veggies instead of random little snacks throughout the day. The bathroom set up. I'm actually so excited. Ooh, actually one more unboxing. Because I ordered this off this website called Canaan Palestine. And they make obviously Palestinian like oils and stuff well not obviously but they're like a Palestinian owned brand it has like really really good quality oils and I love good quality olive oil for my olive bread and why not support Palestinian business at this time you know so I have been waiting over a week for this I'm so excited um, I also ordered something else. Oh, I ordered some zaatar. This is a lot smaller than I thought it would be, but I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. And I just love the branding of this too. Like the website's like super aesthetic, really pretty branding, and it gives like the storyline of everything you're getting too, which I think is great. Now this was a little bit pricey, but it's like a super, super good quality olive oil from Palestine, but also from like olive trees that are like hundreds and hundreds of year old. So, oh yeah, some of these are a thousand years old. So, you know, some historic olive oil, why not? I'm excited to taste this. Hey babe, this is not for cooking, okay? This is strictly for dipping. That's it, okay? 
It's this thousand year old olive tree oil. Thousand, can you even fathom that? A thousand year old tree produced olives that have this olive oil. He'd be using my olive oil to cook sometimes and fry things and we can't have that with this one. We've got some soaps for you. Mmm. Wow. Hydrating bar soap. Is this a rose or something? Cardamom and wood. These smell delicious. <laughs> Did you use some of my stuff? What'd you use? What'd you use? <laughs> These do smell very good though. This is from a brand called Evolve Together. Oh, this smells so good. Oh my god. Cardamom and wood. And then rose and mandarin. Bar soaps. I don't know where you can get this. I honestly don't even know how this brand got my address. But they've been sending stuff. And their stuff mm. smells so good. So sneaky. Anyways, let's get to organization. Oh, organization. I did not think that through. That is gonna annoy my every existence. Sometimes I just think to myself, like, you're just so smart. Like, you're genuinely just such a smart girl. All right, I had to change into something a little bit comfier, aka the bati. Body stuff. You know, for someone who has obviously had her period since like, I don't know, since when, but like definitely over 10, 15 years, I've never had a proper organization for them until now. That's a long time coming. I don't know why it's taking this long, but here we are. Okay, accidentally dropped you guys, but so far this is kind of what it looks like. The um, only thing I have organized is all of like my feminine products, which I'm actually really happy about because I didn't even know I had this many things. I feel like I'm always buying more, not realizing I actually have a lot, so happy with that. And then I'm just going to figure out like what makes the most sense with all of this, like what do I grab for the most, like what I should put at the top versus the bottom and then I'll kind of explain it to you guys but I think for the most part I'm gonna be doing like feminine products like shaving stuff um, and like devices um, like facial devices over here or like actually no I'm gonna keep this all feminine hygiene and body and then here I'm gonna do all of my hair and like technological stuff like my Dyson all that kind of stuff I think that makes the most sense. Let's come back and see if that does make the most sense. Because they didn't have any smalls. Are y'all ready to see this after? It's quite dramatic. Like, <laughs> I wish I got my husband's reaction, like, in real time. Um, but I, I just didn't take my camera out, but he was like, he was jumping up and down, like he was so excited about this. So let me show y'all, it looks, I wish I had done this sooner, honestly, but it looks incredible. So I'm very, very happy. Voila, it's so organized. <gasps> wow. Wow, 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 wow. It's literally so organized, like to a T. Like I am obsessed. So obviously I have all my feminine care products in here. I have all of my like body butters and like oils and stuff. So when I get out of the shower, I can just open this and use whatever I need. And then some backups as well. And then I have some like um, face shaving things and then body shaving things in there and um, a couple other backups and whatnot. Some of my like facial devices in there. This is my Dyson Airwrap. Um, and then I'm just gonna leave this here so that I could actually like clean this regularly because I get lazy sometimes and then just I'm not even gonna lie like it gets pretty filthy um, So it's just like easier to keep under here and I'm gonna like keep a little towel rag as well so I could like clean it every day um, And then in here these are all like my hair products that I use um, 
quite regularly, like a few times a week. So I just kept them all here. Here are my like clips that I use to like section off my hair. Um, I actually like to keep some of these in the shower, so I'll probably do that in a second as well. But yeah, these are just some of my like leave-in conditioners and styling products and whatnot, gels. And then in here, I have some like extra toothbrushes that my husband uses when he uses my bathroom. <laughs> Um, and then like a cleanser that I'll use sometimes and just kind of some random things um, This little guru nada like oil pull thing that I bought and like barely used but maybe now I'll use it because I can actually see it here are all of my hair tools So I have my Dyson um, My flat iron. I don't really use it much, but you know, it's there and then all of my brushes and like diffuser and stuff um, and yeah, that's everything in here and it's just so much more organized and I can see everything. Ooh, and then the Lazy Susan. So I'm actually really, really happy that I got this because it'll make it so much easier for, these are things I use pretty much on a daily basis, like oils and stuff. Um, so I just have all my oils here and I can just kind of go through and whichever one I wanna use that day I can. I also have some of like, my body sprays here. This is like my favorite body spray ever. It's by the brand Fleur. Um, it came out quite recently, but it's vanilla skin. It smells so freaking good. Like, I spray this on my body after I get out of the shower, so I just have some of those over here. It's like a hair and body spray, and then just some, like, facial peels and stuff, too, so I'm happy I got this size. And then the other one, I'm actually, I'm not gonna return that one. I actually gave it to my husband because he can put all of his, like, beard products and stuff. Yeah, that is, that is under the sink. Very, very happy with those purchases from Target. I'll link them below, as I said. And then I decided to organize, reorganize this as well because it just kind of got really messy all of a sudden. Um, so I just kind of color coordinated it. So from like grays and whites and blues and then just kind of like work my way up um, just because it's just like more aesthetically pleasing that way, honestly. I'm very happy right now. I'm very, very happy. So I also did this past week, I, or, I reorganized, well, Risky and I reorganized the office bathroom. So I'll probably show you guys that tomorrow because it still needs to be tidied a little bit because we washed all of the makeup brushes. Um, so I have to just pick and choose which ones I actually want to keep and stuff. I will get back to you guys tomorrow with some more organization it's just going to be an organization month december is going to be my reorganization month because there's nothing better than starting a new year having everything in your home like completely put into place clean organized and you can just start fresh with all of your new year's resolutions so yeah happy sunday i'm headed to the farmer's market right now um i don't really do like all my shopping at the farmer's market but i get like vegetables and certain things there oh, so as I was saying, I don't really get like all my veg or all my groceries, but I get like certain vegetables and fruit. I specifically love and I'm obsessed with the grapes at the farmer's market. So I'm gonna get a bunch of those and then I don't know, just kind of see what else speaks to me. market and what I was saying was I don't really get like anytime we go we don't really get like our full grocery list just like a couple items like a couple fresh vegetables and stuff and then mainly like fruit because farmers market fruit just tastes better honestly so I got a bunch of grapes and stuff as you guys saw and then I also just got some bread they sell like little half loaves so I got some whole wheat bread and then also some sourdough olive rosemary bread, which I actually want to try right now. And then I also got a bunch of tomatoes because I kind of want to 
try making tomato soup like a creamy tomato soup this week I think I'm still gonna go to the grocery store though because I was thinking and I was like it'd kind of be nice to do like a roasted red pepper and tomato soup so I think I'm gonna have to go get that and then I just there was like one thing left of asparagus so I just got that because it looks really good and I love asparagus so I might just like cook that up tonight there are these these Palestinian guys that sell like different sauces and stuff and they're always so nice they always hook it up so today he got me he gave me one for free but <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't the usual guys though it was like the other the newer one okay but they always hook it up so this is like a new one i haven't seen before it's snaky flame it's kind of like a spicy one but i got some vegetables last night from target like little just like vegetable snacks so i figured this could be good to eat with it and then he gave me the olive tapenade for free because i was kind of looking at it but that's everything i got my camera's about to die. I'm gonna just put this away and then I think I'm gonna head out to the actual grocery store and get some like meats and stuff for us because we have like zero meat in the house. That looks so good. I haven't eaten breakfast yet, so I'm gonna have one of the oikos, the 20 grams of protein, and then some grapes and a couple blueberries and then my za'atar. Mmm. The toasted sesames are so freaking good. Yum. Happy Monday. It is another full day of organizing, but this time we are doing two at once. We're organizing the office as well. Risky's here, so I'll show you guys her in a sec. But I'm currently doing the bedroom because this one drawer has had way too many things in it. Like I could barely close it properly. So I already got rid of two garbage bags full of clothes from here we're on the third one and we're still going strong so inshallah by the end of this day everything will be really nice and organized and there will be space to open and close this damn drawer let me show you what i'm working with so a lot of it is honestly like athleisure like that's kind of what i keep in this bedroom i don't really keep a lot of like my regular clothes and there's just stuff that's been in here for like so many years that i don't really wear anymore a lot of like immodest tops like i wear a lot of longer tops to work out now and just like in the past i've had shorter ones i'm getting rid of basically all of those let me show you guys what the state of the office is looking like right now because that also needs some more organizing <laughs> we're back to weekly vlogging i know it's been so long it's been so long but i've been showing them the whole organization this past weekend and the final stage of the office is this so it's looking very crazy, but what I always like to say is it gets worse before it gets better, so. This all came out of these two like bins over here. It's just been like stuffed with, especially makeup bags, because what happens is a lot of these brands always send makeup bags, and obviously I don't need this many, and they're just like cute, so I'm like, you know what, I might use it. I stuff it in this and I never look at it again. So, we're taking all of that out, and gonna be donating majority of it, um, probably to like a homeless shelter or just something I feel like someone could put better use to like all of these bags And then I'm just gonna keep like a small handful for what I actually do want and yeah Organizing also some of the hijabs in here and then that's pretty much the organization of today We're also posting things on Poshmark which by the time this video is live the Poshmark stuff should be live. I don't know if things have sold out already. They tend to go pretty quickly, so I'll have the link down below. But in the future, if you guys ever want to see stuff that we post there, um, just follow me on Instagram and check in with my stories because I'm always posting it there first, um, and that's where things pretty much sell out. Let's go back to organizing the bedroom. It's going to be a long day, but I'm, I'm so excited because I've been like in this like rut with content because there's just been like an influx of stuff here i get overwhelmed and then i don't want to film like morning routines and whatnot because it's just like i open up a closet and things are just falling out <laughs> and like no one wants to see that so yeah it's gonna be really nice to just have everything nice and organized and clean and whatnot um bay is taking a little lunch break making his nasty sardines they're so nasty oh let me know if any of you guys like sardines because he's been on a sardine kick. So anytime like lunch rolls around, this man is in the kitchen cooking sardines and I'm just like gagging, holding in my breath. Like I get it has a lot of protein, but like canned fish just like, other than tuna, I'll do tuna, but like canned fish, like actual fish. 
which is not appetizing to me at all. But anyways, I'll show you guys what this looks like after. Inshallah looks a lot better. I'm not gonna go lie to y'all. I have been the worst vlogger in history this entire week. It's literally Friday and I think the last thing I told you guys was I was gonna show you what these look like like after I'm done organizing and I've been done um, I was like you know what? I'll just wait till the morning till the lighting's a little bit better <clears throat> and suddenly it's Friday so I will have to show you guys what this place looks like when I get back but I'm actually about to leave um, because I started personal training sessions <clears throat> with one of the trainers from F45. Um, she's just like my favorite, she's so good. Um, but yeah, I have to walk like a little over 30 minutes to get there. I could drive or take a little like scooter or something, but I don't know, I've just been like in the walking mood over the past couple months. So I'm gonna go and then when I get back, I will show you guys what the place looks like because we also got cleaners in yesterday. So the entire place is just chef's kiss. It's so good. All right, got my tripod. My legs are so sore because we did F45 last night. So I'm begging, I'm gonna be begging my trainer to let me do arms today because my, we, did, we did legs on Wednesday with my first session with her. And then we did legs again yesterday at F45. So my legs are just officially toast and you know, I, I just, they need a break. So anyways, I gotta go. Let's get this 30 minute walk on and I will see y'all at the gym. Cheers. Almost at the gym and I love LA in the winter because it's very, it's very much giving like hijabi friendly weather. It's like cool and crisp in the morning, but not like cool enough to like have to wear a coat or something. It's just comfortable, you know? Update on this week. This week was kind of like, honestly, just like a big organization week. Like I literally just organized the crap out of my house. Had the cleaners come in yesterday and it's officially looking like just super organized and exactly how I need it to look uh, without losing my mind. So we're doing well. Um, aside from that, nothing really else happened this week, honestly. It was a pretty slow week, but exciting news. I finally booked a studio for the merch shoot. So that's happening on Monday. I'll take you guys along with that as well in next week's vlog. Any of you guys who are looking to get my new loungewear set, which now includes not only just a hoodie, but um, or crew neck, it's gonna come with sweatpants, then just stay tuned for the new year. It will be coming soon. And yeah, I'm just around the corner from my workout, so I'll see y'all up there. They genuinely hurt. I really want to find like a place with matcha or something. Um, and I feel like that's a coffee shop right across the street. 
I'm gonna check it out. But workout was really good. We did back and biceps today, thank God. <laughs> I told you guys my legs were like jello for the past couple weeks. Um, but what the heck is that? This weird security camera or something. But anyways, oh yes, I see much on the menu. Okay, let's go get some of that. But feel really good. Got a nice little Friday workout in. Jama Mubarak. Alright, I don't have the highest hopes for this, I'm not gonna lie, but... Okay. Never mind, I was wrong. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> I am back home now. I don't have a lot of time because I have to jump on a meeting in like a few minutes. Um, so, I just wanted to quickly show you guys kind of like all the organization that I did in this drawer specifically. I didn't even get to show you guys like how many bags of donation that we sent to the homeless shelter. Like, I'm not even kidding, just from like inside of this alone, I think three and a half bags I was able to fill, um, which is just insane. But let me show you, it's feeling so much better. Like just getting ready this week has been such a, like, such a pleasant experience because I don't have to like shove things into this drawer. So. This is the top one, which honestly could not even open before, and now I have it like super organized from like socks to underwear to bras, and like I can open it and close it, which sounds so stupid, but like seriously, it's made such a big difference. I have like t shirts, long sleeves, all my like undershirts and stuff um, organized nicely there. In here, this one. It looks a little messy, but this is just like the PJs that I'm wearing, like my little bati. But these are just like PJs and stuff, so really nice and organized. And here is my husband's. He did not organize it as nice as I did, but I was nice enough to give him one little uh, drawer in this dresser. <laughs> and then in here I have, oh my god, okay, so we have this like running joke and it's not really a joke but it's i guess it's a little bit funny sometimes that like i can never find my workout hijabs like two minutes before we're about to leave i'm running around this place looking for my workout hijabs because i just put it somewhere and then forget so i put this little basket in here and all my workout hijabs go in here so i know where to put them and then where to get them from so and then i just have like some leggings and a couple just random t-shirts and stuff in here and last but not least I have all my workout clothes which I really threw out a lot of them especially those like just like immodest tops that are just like super tight and uncomfortable honestly to work out in. I really like to work out in these kind of like longer more modest tops so I have all of those over here um, from various brands I really like this one brand called fifth um, it's a Muslim owned like modest wear brand and they have like men's modest uh, workout clothing too so I have a lot from them and then just like a couple other random ones from Amazon and whatnot and then some leggings so that's everything in here I have to jump on a call like right now so I will see you guys a little bit later when uh, maybe I'll make breakfast with you guys but even like <gasps> Even here, it's just so clean and organized. And oh my god, I even got the cleaners to do the fridge, which like desperately needed to be clean. And like, it is spotless right now. Like, I didn't even want to show you guys it before. It was like sticky and nasty and all of that. But now it's just completely clean and cleared out. And my life is, um, is pretty much made right now. I'm very happy. Uh, okay, meeting time. See you guys later. All right, meeting is complete. It was a very exciting one, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I hate to be that person that's like, I'm working on something, can't mention it, but like, you guys will be really excited for it, but this is one of those moments where if you were to ever believe anyone that mentioned that something exciting is coming, this would be it. This would literally be it. So, inshallah khair, I'm just, Praying that it all goes as planned. I just, I literally just turned on the camera for the first time right after I ended that call. Um, but this is, this is literally gonna be a dream come true. So that is all I can say for now. But okay, anyways, sorry, I'm going a little crazy right now. I'm gonna, I'm not really that hungry to be honest. I feel like um, the matcha kind of like made me full, and then I've just been drinking 
this like massive water bottle. I got this from, well, Sephora actually sent it, sent it for Sephora squad, but I've actually used this brand before. I've bought in like, I think two of these bottles, um, not this large. I've had like the 24 ounce. This is a 40 ounce water bottle and it holds so much water. I'll link it down below, but it's by the brand Simple Modern. I think you can also get it at Target. I feel like I've seen it at Target, but it just like makes me drink so much more water. So I have not become a Stanley Cup girly because I just feel like because everyone has Stanley Cups, it just feels tacky. <laughs> um, but my little Simple Modern, she comes in handy. I don't know if she keeps things as cold, but I'm personally, I'm not a cold water drinker. Like I know there's cold water drinkers. I actually cannot drink cold water. I feel like it gives me like a brain freeze. And then I also heard like cold water is actually not as good for you. Like it doesn't keep you as hydrated or something because your body has to like work extra to like warm it up or I don't know, there's some kind of science behind it. But um, I'm gonna shower, freshen up a little bit, and then I will catch you guys later. I am starving. Let's make some breakfast, even though it's literally almost 2 p.m. already. <laughs> um, I don't really know what I was doing, taking so long. Nassim came home and we just started talking, getting really deep into like conversation about business and you know, suddenly it's an hour later. But I showered, feeling nice and fresh, and I think I'm gonna have the rest of this salad that I had yesterday. Um, but yeah, we've been on like a really good kick of just like staying healthy and super motivated. I think when you have a partner that like has the same mindset as you um, and like similar goals and stuff, it just kind of like, it makes things just a lot more easier and a lot more enjoyable too. Cause like obviously, you know, working out, you want to do it for yourself and stuff. But when you have like an accountability partner and someone who is like motivating you and like encouraging you to do everything it just feels a lot better so he um does f45 with me about two times a week and then he just recently signed up for a gym like a separate gym so he can do like his weights and stuff because like his goals are like not necessarily to lose weight but to just like feel better in his body i feel like men's goals are always so different <laughs> than women's yeah, so he does that and then he also does Muay Thai, which is like a type of martial arts. But I finally gotten into like a really good routine of like going to the gym and just walking more, being just like making healthier choices and all of that and just feeling better within my body, feeling more comfortable in my body um, and feeling stronger. So I'm very happy about that. But yeah, so like just being able to like do that together is like so fun. I don't really know where. I was going with this conversation, but yeah. So I just have some salmon that I made in the air fryer the other day, and then just some like quinoa that I also cooked up. I always put like an ice cube on when I like am warming something up in the microwave, just because I feel like it creates steam and just heats up the food a lot better. I feel like it actually makes a difference. So I like to get the little bags of salad that like already come with dressing and like toppings and stuff just because i don't know they taste really good and honestly they're just so much easier than like having to wash your own lettuce and figure out what dressing to go on top and whatnot the salad and the quinoa on top and then also gonna just cut up a little grapefruit. Grapefruit is like my favorite fruit, I would say. Well, okay, no, it's one of my favorite fruits, but one of my top favorites. Definitely my favorite citrus fruit. Like, if there's ever a choice between grapefruit, grapefruit juice or like any other citrus fruit juice, I usually always choose grapefruit. And that is my little healthy lunch. So a little salmon salad and some grapefruit. So good. You know when something you make is just so good, you gotta dance a little bit for yourself? This is that. Mm. I'm gonna finish this. Probably watch 
a little cousin connection. I've been watching them on YouTube mainly. My little sis, my big sis, and my brother. And enjoy the rest of my Friday afternoon. You guys, I just did a little happy dance. I'm so excited. Ah! Okay, <laughs> let me relax. Um, earlier this week, I told you guys that I was getting the aura ring and I was like testing out the sizing and stuff. Um, it's finally downstairs. I just checked the tracking and I'm genuinely so excited. I can't contain my excitement right now. So I'm gonna run downstairs and pick up the package and do the whole unboxing and everything. Have you ever like just like waited on an order before and been so freaking excited for it? Especially something that like you've been looking at and researching for like over a year. Like this is the aura ring for me. Get the ring! All right, I just changed real quick because the other shirt was just not giving. Um, but I'm also filming it for TikTok, so don't mind me. I just got something that has been on my wish list for like over a year at this point, and I'm so excited. I have to just unbox it with you guys. Okay, I just filmed my little TikTok unboxing, but now I can show you guys what it looks like. It's so beautiful. It's a lot lighter than I thought it would be. Like I thought it would be kind of heavy for some reason, but it's very light. It has like, it looks very high tech, I'm not gonna lie. But this is the generation three aura ring. So it has all the little things over here, I guess, to like check your temperature and like your pulse and all of that. So I'm gonna be wearing it on my index finger. It is a little chunky, but as you can tell, I like chunky jewelry. So I don't think it looks like so far off. I'm gonna link it down below in case you guys wanna check it out as well. I don't have a coupon code. Um, I don't know if they really do coupons and stuff. Um, I'm trying to see if I can get one. So if I ever do, I will post it on like my socials and stuff, but I do have like a link. It is like affiliated. So like if you guys purchase from it, I get like a very small commission. Um, yeah, or you can just go on the website and check it out, but. Yeah, I also just wanted to let you guys know that these sweaters, these are the only um, but if not, you can go to AishaHaroon.com and get your Happy Looks Good On You merch. It's like double embroidered. It's super, super good quality. Feels so cozy. And of course, it has the little smiley face over here as well. So this is the Pumpkin Spice Crew. And yeah, I think we're going to be launching. I was telling you guys about our new collection. I think that's going to be launching sometime in the new year. Um, but yeah, these are definitely going to be like more affordable right now with the 25% off. So check it out. I'd love for you guys to support and I really need to like market myself better. I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like I'll post on stories and post links and stuff, but I, I really like, this is my brand. I feel like I should be po pushing it more, you know? Anyways, I'm gonna delve into the whole ordering and I'll check back with you guys later. It's almost like four right now. And I think we're gonna go to our Islamic lesson later on. Um, that I was telling you guys about last week, so we have to kind of get ready for that, but oh, I'm so excited. I'm so so excited. This literally just made my entire week like y'all don't even know I'm so dramatic, but like I've genuinely wanted this for over a year So the only thing that like it doesn't really suck necessarily, but there is like a membership fee um, With aura ring So it, I think it's it's pretty inexpensive. I think it's like Five ninety nine um, a month or something, which for like everything it does, I'm hoping that it's worth it. But yeah, that's like one thing to like note because it's not just something you can buy and then continue to use like an Apple Watch or something. I know like certain Apple Watches have uh, memberships, like if you want to have like the calling and Bluetooth enabled. But this is just like you have to have it regardless. I'm pretty sure so. That's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so right now it's asking me like my weight and my height and it's connecting to the health app in the app store. So I'm all set up. I also downloaded um, Natural Cycle so I can start like tracking my periods and fertility through the app. But I am kind of hungry right now. Well, I made this yesterday. I wanted to get it on camera but I completely forgot to like use my vlogging camera. I did record it for, oh my god. That's what I have to deal with in downtown every single day. But yeah, I did make a tomato soup yesterday. I recorded it for like Instagram and TikTok. 
so that should be up soon but it's actually one of my first times making tomato soup i made it the same way that i made my um, butternut squash soup though and i think it turned out really good i feel like it's gonna taste even better today because it's been like sitting mm. it's like a roasted tomato soup except i didn't want to use cream so i put um greek yogurt so i feel like it gave it it gave it like a little bit of like a tangy flavor but it's really good and then i'm just gonna dip some olive bread this is the same one that i got from the farmer's market last week this will probably be my dinner for the night um it's like five o'clock right now and then we're leaving in like an hour to go to irvine so i'm like determined to make a soup every single week i think i'm gonna end the vlog over here because it's been officially a full week even though i barely vlogged the full week <laughs> but i'll try to get better next week i just feel like i've gotten too much into the habit of like not vlogging lately that like i genuinely just forget and then suddenly it's the end of the night and i'm like damn i actually wanted to show you guys a bunch of things but before i leave actually i'm not 100 sure if i showed you the organization in this guest bathroom so i did the same thing here that i did um in the in my bathroom because my husband kind of uses this one more we decided not to share bathrooms because we just need our own space when it comes to that kind of thing so his stuff is down here i got the same kind of like system for him going over here with just some like extra products and then all his like beard stuff um and like more extras over here and then i also organized his little skincare thing here too because he is a skincare boy now he has all his like colognes and stuff there and then everything he uses for like his beard and all of his little products so maybe one day we'll do a little husband and wife skincare routine because he has his own like routine going and i don't even know exactly what he does so his skin is beautiful though i will say mashallah and here everything is nice and clean as well i think the last time i showed you it was looking crazy but it is finally nice and clean don't mind some of this stuff it's just some like pr and stuff but everything is looking so good even my husband's side over here is looking really good um and then in here god bless risky she really really helps me with this but this is basically the pr closet well this is like all my um swimsuit stuff like my modest swimwear and then i just have like a bunch of like storage up here but here is like extra pr and product that um anytime someone comes over they can kind of like pick through so here i have like uh fragrances and then just it's literally like filled to the brim with products so yeah it's a little bit crazy in here and then in here i have just like my closet it's just nothing crazy um we did also organize my bags though because they were falling apart and then the bathroom also had its like own major transformation because there was just so much stuff in here that i didn't even realize so this is like my everyday makeup little train case thing um and some like new products in there that i tried to you know use every now and then i like reorganize this entire area so this is where i keep like usually my tripods are in here and like my extra lights for filming and whatnot uh some travel stuff and then i, I wish i had it before of this because it was atrocious but it's looking so much better now so it's like completely cleared out i moved all my makeup brushes under here because before they were actually like sitting on top of here and they would get so dusty so i moved them all under here and i just have like my makeup travel case there with all my travel stuff and some backups yeah we did like a full week transformation on this place and i'm so thankful for all of it because this place was driving me insane it truly was like it was just something that i wanted to do in the back of my mind forever and just i kept delaying it and delaying it and suddenly the year was almost done and i'm like i am not going into 2024 with this chaotic energy this vlog is so long thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna enjoy the rest of my dinner um stay tuned for next week's vlog um i'm so excited to like bring back the weekly vlogs like genuinely because it's just like i i enjoy sharing my life with you guys and like just talking now like makes me happy so be sure you're subscribed our family is growing so so fast and large like 
we just hit half a million i feel like earlier on this year and we're at like 524,000 subscribers which is just wild so keep it coming give this video a thumbs up if you guys are excited for the weekly vlogs to come back i promise i will do better let me know what other um video ideas you guys would like to see from me down below as well um of course as always keep palestine in your prayers um call for a ceasefire as much as you can call your reps um all of that good stuff i will leave some links down below as well that you guys can get more information on and fivecalls.org to like very easily figure out which representatives you should call and complete your calls every day so anyways thank you guys for mu so much for watching i love you and i will see you in the next video Mwah.